the fastest growing city in the USA and home to more billionaires than anywhere else in the world. But for one day, creativity is the only currency in town as 60 teams of fun-loving fortune seekers slug it out in pursuit of nothing but sweet, sweet glory. Who will go for broke and strike gold? And who is on one giant losing streak? This is the Red Bull Soapbox Race, Dallas. Howdy, partners, and welcome to Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas, an area with a rich heritage of cattle ranching, oil production, and, of course, TV soap opera cliffhangers from the 1980s. No spoilers, please, Will. I'm still binge-watching. Here in the town of Dry Bones, Texas, they commemorate the early settlers to the west way back in the 19th century. And from those first few early settlers, Dallas is now home to 7.5 million Americans and the Dallas Cowboys, five times NFL Super Bowl champions who play in the magnificent AT&T Stadium behind us. And we have their quarterback, Roger Staubach, to thank for the Hail Mary pass, a high-stakes play with very little chance of success. So here goes nothing. It's Whoa. also the home of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. They're super famous. They tour all over the world. They've even got their own reality TV series. So give me an R. Give me an E. Give me a D. Give me a fun-filled afternoon of crazy inventiveness, daredevil antics, and fierce competition. Where it's not about driving cattle, it's about driving homemade creations that showcase the skill and ingenuity of our fearless pioneers in front of thousands of fans as the Red Bull Soapbox Race returns to Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas for the first time since 2012. Before we check out this fiendishly tricky course, let's get up to speed with all things Red Bull Soapbox Race and remind ourselves about what today is all about. Celebrating the bazaar for two decades, the Red Bull Soapbox Race sees amateur teams of friends, family and workmates racing their incredible homemade soapboxes down a course covered in obstacles, all with just gravity to power them. Oh, he's gone! Over the years, over 120 events have been held in amazing locations in every corner of the globe. Each race attracts fans in their thousands, hungry for speed... Look how fast these guys are! ..silliness... Oh, he's missed it, look! <laughs> and the odds spectacular crash. Oh, he's lost in there! Wow, look at that! Bag of tools is... Oh! Oh, spun it! Look at that! Fun is always the order of the day, but this is a contest, and to decide a winner, each team is scored on three categories. Firstly, a panel of judges marks the creativity and craftsmanship of each soapbox. Look at that! That is mighty impressive! Then, points are given for a 30-second performance immediately before the run. And finally, those scores are added to the total time taken to complete the course. This is going to be a good time! Spectacular at the end! Sorry, if they complete the course. Oh, look at that! Get more overall points than anyone else and you've just earned yourself universal bragging rights as Red Bull Soapbox Race champions. There's just one thing standing in the way. The course itself. And this one at the Colony in Dallas-Fort Worth has a kick like a mule. This is the point of no return. And although this isn't the biggest or steepest start ramp we've ever seen, that's because the course is a consistent 8.5 degrees of decline all the way down. There is literally no let up at all. And the start lulls our drivers into a false sense of security because it's quite wide and then gets extremely narrow for the rest of the race. And this is gonna test our drivers steering to the absolute limit. Following a small kicker, our teams reach this point and are faced with a unique three-part feature called the road banks. Now, it looks fairly innocuous, and if they play it straight, they should get through OK. But it will play with our team's minds, and if they try and avoid these banks, they may end up losing balance and hitting some of the barriers. If they do get through, though, there's no let-up. No let up indeed as they come through the car wash and hit this kicker on the fastest part of the course. Jumping over this is really going to test our soapbox's build quality and then it's time for maximum focus. And that focus is essential as this is the grand finale, a high speed ramp that will send our teams rocketing skywards. With this ramp, they could be landing almost anywhere. The fast ones might even clear it entirely. 
The unlucky ones could clip the end of the ramp, which will make the landing very hard to control. If they do land in one piece, it's a nice cruise to the finish line. Well, the sun's coming out. I tell you, it's going to be a very hot day. Our soap boxes are ready to go. Matt, you've seen quite a few of these. How tricky is this course going to be for them? It's going to be very quick. And if you don't have great steering, it's going to be pretty <laughs> difficult because it's so narrow. Darren, what do you think of it? Well, I agree, Matt. It's going to be a quick course, this. And as you say, it's narrow. The two big features come when the soap boxes are reaching their highest speed. So I think we could be in for some speedy spills today. It's nearly 100 degrees out there as well and the crowds are out in force. Uh, team Dick and Chet first today. Uh, you will see the creativity score there of 25. Uh, that's out of a maximum of 40. The performance score, and this is the performance you're seeing at the moment, is out of 60. There are three elements of scoring in a Red Bull soapbox race. Uh, creativity, uh, performance, and then the time of the run itself. Uh, team Dick and Chet own a company called Maximum Elevation Off-Road, where they specialise in vehicle customization. Have they got the soapbox design right for this one today? Uh, here are the road banks, and they've taken those with ease. They've pretty much gone in the straight line, and they're fine. The big kicker is on the way next. You can see the speed already as they hurtle down the course here in Dallas. There's the big kicker. Landed a little bit nose first, 32 miles per hour. That's the speed gun. There's the ramp, and they've flown that. Great run, this. Absolutely flying down the course. Can they stop it? Yes, they can. That's brilliant. 35.70. That's a great time. It was controlled. It was fast. It was smooth. And they got everything just right from the start right down to the finish. What a way to kick things off today. Will and Matt gave the next soapbox a once-over in the pits before they got started. It's actually really nice. Yeah. So it dries me out a bit, but it's enjoyable. Um, now, this is a brave soapbox. You're, really you're, brave. you're going down the hill in something that's designed to completely fall apart. Yeah. It's a pinata. I know. It's, it's really good. It's amazingly creative. It's mm. the only soapbox I've ever seen where it's got an arts and crafts element. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> imagine the poor person who's had to stick all of these on. Half of them have still got his shopping on the back. <laughs> Also, Milk and loo roll. I feel yep. sorry for anyone that works in the same office because they'll be looking for sticky <laughs> notes forever, going, well, where, there's loads of yeah, packs of these. Yeah, yeah. Where have they gone? I'm quite confused about how you drive it, though, because this isn't for steering. I think this is where the passenger sits. It's a bike seat, and you're going to be going over a lot of big jumps. Yeah, and you will need to change direction at some point. So somebody tells me there's more to this one than meets the eye. The Spartan de Dulces. Uh, Duoc is the pilot, Lance the co-pilot. They're from Dallas, Texas. Uh, they work together at a, to at a toy company. The office supply is uh, missing a lot of post-its, I think. Uh, they say they're often mistaken for Thor's siblings, so easy mistake to make, I suppose. Uh, performance score, 49. They got 25 for creativity. Uh, now they've got to make sure they can handle what's ahead of them. Uh, the kicker, which comes very quickly after the start, the go RVing road banks, the big kick of the ramp, and you'll see the speed as well on the way down, which is always a brilliant indicator in a Red Bull soapbox race. There's the initial kicker. Now this one looks narrow enough to actually go through this section without touching the ramps, but they've managed just to nibble away at the edges. So, so far, so good. They're all OK. Uh, the car wash, which is sometimes wet in other events, but it's dry today. They might appreciate a bit of water, actually, because it's so hot. There's the big kicker. Oh, it's wobbly, 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 oh! They managed to keep it going. I thought that was going to topple then. How on earth they kept that going there? How on earth I managed to say wobbly, 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 I don't know. Here we go over the ramp, down towards the finish line. There we go. It's all about the fun of the Red Bull soapbox race. And it's all about the time, 50.80. And they managed to stop. And I promise I won't say that again today. Oh, my word. Here we go. It's when they got the wobble on. In slow motion, it still looks like it's going to go. Oh, look at him wrestling with it in there. Brilliant. Absolutely superb. Get clapping for this man, the recovery of the day. You, sir, are a genius. How, how did you keep it on the track? We kept it without suspensions and just ran off the track. And I just let it self-steer and straightened out. Wow, so it was just luck. Yep. I mean, that, in a way, that's even more impressive. Come, come in close, come in close. 
Now, did you you know your scores? You got eights and nines up there for oh, the performance. Wow. That's super dope, man. We're <laughs> stoked. Of course you're stoked. You made it down in one piece, thanks to this guy and a healthy dose of luck. Back to you, Darren. We're stoked and we're super dope as well in the commentary box today. Dallas, Texas, fantastic. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. That's what we got next. Uh, the creativity score of 28. Now they're performing their performance. Kale is the pilot. They're three volleyball playing, kid having couples who have been friends for years. They thought it'd be a good thing to get involved in the event today. They're always there for each other, even when one has a crazy idea like signing up for this event at 43 for the performance. That's out of 60 and off we go. It's bright, it's pink, it's Barbie, and we're off. There's the first kicker. It's a little bit wobbly, this one, at the top. It does tend to lean, look from side to side. You don't want to go too far, otherwise you might be off. There's the dry car wash. Here's the big kicker. Hurtling towards it, over we go! No, oh, wobbling, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's gone! Oh, look at that! Oh, my word! So spectacular! Everybody's okay, which is the first thing to tell you. Wrestling with it, trying to lean, trying to get it back, and then bang! Look at that! That's one of the most spectacular soapbox race crashes we've seen. Oh, it stopped immediately and out they came. Join us after the break to see if this lot are just going to be clowning around or if they take it seriously. I like them, they've really got it. <laughs> Welcome back to the Red Bull Soapbox race here in Dallas, where things are starting to really heat up. And I'm not talking about the weather. Darren, who have you got next on the ramp? We've got a great team now, Matt. Red Bull It. They love to dress up in costumes and they're inspired by Stephen King's It. So uh, here we go. The uh, creativity score was 26. And uh, Mateen is the pilot and the performance score 45 and they're hoping to be fast they're hoping to be smooth and they're ultimately hoping to be successful here in the heat of dallas texas today road banks negotiated safely Next on the agenda, the big kicker followed by the ramp and then the finish line. It's straight and it's steep and it's fast. He did a bit of bottle here today. Big kicker, no problem. Now, what about the ramp? 29 miles per hour through the gun. Nice and high over the ramp and then nice and quick over the finish. And a big crash at the end, 38.7. Uh, that's the best way to stop it. No clowning around from that team. That's a good time, and that's a good finish. Now, I don't know if it's sort of fair for me to have personal favourites. It isn't. But okay, then. This is okay. <laughs> uh, no, this is, this is a good one. I really like this car. I mean, it's fun. You can tell instantly what it is. There's no question of that. It's, it's a duck. It is a duck. Yeah, You've absolutely yeah. nailed it. Um, but quite interestingly, to keep it lightweight, they've used chicken wire. It's a, it's a chicken in a duck. What do you think? My only hesitation with this is handlebar steering and these small mm. wheels could be tricky if they turn a bit yeah. too hard and flip the car. I mean, they do look like shopping trolley wheels and we've all had one that does that. <laughs> Nightmare. You don't want that halfway no. down there. But look at the back. This is very cute. A beautiful little duckling. It's a, fa it's a family affair. It is, but I'm not sure the duckling is going to end up at the bottom with the rest of the duck. This looks incredibly shonky. Well, fingers crossed. that It does end up. It's, yeah. I was thinking this heat today, there's a fair chance we'll get fried chicken or crispy duck, but we have ducks in a row. And I'm still trying to work out what shonky means, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. Uh, Connor, the pilot, they all recently graduated from the University of Texas. Uh, 33 for the performance today. 
Uh, they're all big into ultimate frisbee, hiking, Texas football. And off we go, this strangely designed ducks in a row team. And the little one's still hanging on at the back for grim death. They can get through that gap without ever turning the steering wheel, I think. All OK at the moment. Big kicker and the ramp, the two big obstacles. We'll have a look at the speed as well. Here's the big kicker. 21, not as fast as some, but it's still in one piece. And here's the ramp. Over the ramp. They could do with a bit more speed here. There's been nothing wrong at all with the way the run's gone, apart from the fact it's not been fast enough. 51.90 in the sunshine, Dallas. And uh, Connor celebrating what he's been able to achieve by uh, getting down in one piece from the top of the course to the bottom. Despite having the smallest wheels in the whole soapbox race today, you made it down in almost one piece. Yes, sir, absolutely. It was exciting building it, and this was definitely a risky design choice, but... Yeah. It, I mean, it's not, it doesn't scream aerodynamics, but I have no. to say, I say almost one piece because your little duckling, what happened to him? He was just being dragged along. I know, I know. I, I thought because he was so light, he would just kind of take the bounces and stay yeah. upright, but that wheel was very clearly not secure, not as secure as we thought. No. How was that for you, little guy? He's furious he won't even speak to me. But it's a well done, mate. You didn't have the fastest time, but it was a good run. Hey, thank you so much. Thank Back you so much. Thank you guys at the top. Thank you, Will. Good to see Will wearing the team shirt there as well of uh, Ducks in a Row. Now we go to Death Proof, and we hope that this soapbox is what it says. Uh, the creativity score of 23. Brent is the pilot. They're from Colony, Texas. They refer to themselves as blue-collar workers looking to make their mark, whether it's by the record books or crashes, is yet to be determined. They got 49 for their performance, and they are off and running. The kind of design that in the past has been... Uh, Quite successful. It's got the the low centre of gravity. The only concern might be the size of the wheels. It's got a wide axle too, but usually tend to be quite quick, these ones. So we'll see whether that bears out today. The fella standing on the back wins the Bravery Award. There's the big kicker, 29 miles per hour. Here's the ramp. It's been a good run this up to now. It'll be about the time as they cross the finish line. 38.7! <laughs> Well, I said it'd be about the time. It was about how far the fella off the back would travel. <laughs> He's OK. <laughs> it was a good time, 38.7, if you were distracted like I was by the uh, passenger flying over the pilot's head. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the first jump of two down and I noticed there, the pilot's not just lost his helmet, he's lost his sunglasses too. This is such a fun idea. Hopefully, they won't need this cast at the end of the race, but it's a really good build, and I think everyone's going to really laugh watching this go down the course. What do you think it's like in there, Will? Well, it's, it's, it's quite uh, easy to get in, but I feel like I'm going to struggle to get out of uh, here. Uh, steering is going to be a problem, I'm not going to lie. Visibility's poor. I've got sweat in my eyes, Mark. It's so hot. Mark. Mark, it's, it's, I'm too hot. I've got, I've got itchy nose. It's, it's my... <sighs> so go, go, Gurney. Austin, the pilot. Toby Drake, the co-pilot. Creativity score of 32. They all work in the emergency room at Parkland Hospital. <laughs> Too shy of a perfect score. Uh, so off they go. Go, go, Gurney. Got 58 for the performance. It's all gone well for them so far with the full body cast on a mannequin on the soapbox and through the road banks without any drama. Looks decent so far, this one. Good job they've got the pot leg to get through the car wash. Here's the big kicker. They've had the smaller one at the top, now the big one towards the bottom. And we're going to move down with 27 miles per hour showing on the clock towards the ramp. Over the ramp we go, it's been nice and smooth. Hasn't been any problems on the way down. 40 seconds dead. 
for sure. Is that 37 seconds, Ali? And I think that's one of those runs that you look back and say it went exactly how we wanted it to go. Um, no problems, nice and straight, easy to control, and uh, everything went right for that team. No idea where he's off to. Smoke on the water from uh, the colony in Texas. Perry's going to be the pilot. Two city council members, a city manager and city staff uh, from Colony, uh, representing their city in their city. 25 for creativity, followed by 53 for the performance. And we have some rain as well, which is very well received and being very well received by the crowd here today. So hot, they'll take anything to try and cool them down. I don't think he's going to last for long, though. Pieces coming off. Gives you a good insight into what's underneath the hood, as they say in Dallas. Moving down towards the big kicker. Be interesting to see how fast they're going. 28 miles per hour. If you can get to 30, that's setting the mark, isn't it? Over the ramp. It's another good run, this one. We've seen a few of them today. What about the time? 39. Oh, wow! What was that? 39.1. And a loud bang at the finish line. Everybody's OK. Don't be concerned by the noise. Well, that was a great run. And I think the cameraman at the end felt the full force of the whole thing. You went right into him. Yeah, not intentionally. Well, tell him that, he's furious. Yeah, I know, I know, I tried to apologize. So you guys started off with a, a beautiful looking fire truck and you ended with just kind of a, a frame. A frame. Yeah. yeah. We wanted a little bit of it left, but I think uh, we managed to just get rid of the whole thing. Yeah. I think the cameraman probably thanked you for it. <laughs> Great run, guys, well thank done. You, thank you. Darren. Thank you, Will. No mummy required. Uh, they competed in the soapbox race back in 2012. 26 for creativity, one of the three ways you can score today, where you're judged today, creativity, performance and time. Performance score of 24. And the baby solar theme, because in 2012, two teammates got married and had a child. So off we go. Over the road banks, oh, and over the road banks. First team that's come to grief there. All of the teams so far have just managed to nibble the edges, but they were completely out of line going in and then hit the side of the ramp look, and that's what's lifted them over. Join us after the break here at the Red Bull Soapbox Race in Dallas, where we're having so much fun, it's criminal. Oh, he's got a reverse. Welcome back to the Red Bull Soapbox Race here in Dallas, where we've had more thrills and spills than a Texan rodeo. Darren, who's next in the saddle? So next we have Nautically Challenged, uh, another team from the colony in Texas. Paul's going to be the pilot. They've got a creativity score of 26. They're a hometown team that resides at the bottom of Derby Hill. They're hailing from many areas in North America, the team in general. Uh, draws from the rich nautical cultures from San Diego to Halifax. The performance score for this team is 48. <laughs> and he's straddling this soapbox. I wouldn't want to be him. So let's have a look at Nautically Challenged. Nice and steady over the, the kicker at the top. The big ramp and the big kicker might pose a problem for a certain region if he's not sitting comfortably. Here we go. Starting to gather speed halfway down the course. Here we go towards the big kicker. Ooh, slightly higher pitch than when he took off, and he's wobbling now. He's wobbling now, and he stops. Over the big kicker, landed. Well, there's nothing. Oh, it starts to buckle at the back. Look, it's the back end that's buckled. The axle's gone, the wheels have gone. Look at him now, wobbling down to the finish. 113.20 for Nautically Challenged. It was all going so well. In slow-mo, it looks like a jelly. 
Now this, I think, is one of the bravest men at the Red Bull Soapbox race today because you weren't in your soapbox, no. you were on it. Yep, we uh, decided to go with being on it. Hindsight, maybe it wasn't the best design choice. Yeah, I mean, it looked absolutely terrifying, but you were really, really losing control. But then in a way, you were kind of saved yep. by the axle braking. I, I wish it didn't break. I would have rather it hit that last jump. That is the true soapbox spirit. <laughs> but it looked fantastic. We well had a done. lot of fun. We had a yeah. great time. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Back to you at the top. Thank you. Thank you, Will. So Mavs maniacs, and they look like a group of maniacs, don't they, up there? Pilot D Mummy, if he says so himself. The team members JJ Westy, Farrow, and Prozac, they're from Dallas, Texas. A 22 for creativity. What are they going to get for the performance? They put a bit of work in, it's a perfect performance score. Now let's see if the soapbox can live up to what's happened at the top. See whether D Money can be money here in Dallas today. They're actually an original male performance squad from the NBA. So they're part of the basketball scene in the US. They're part of the Red Bull soapbox scene in Dallas today and they're going really well here. Down towards the big kicker, D Money's flying 33 miles an hour. That's as good as we've had over the big ramp with lots of air. Flying down towards the finish. What's the time? 34.0. Brilliant run, Mavs Maniacs, no problem. Good at the top, good halfway down, good at the bottom. Fantastic run by that team. Big takeoff over the ramp at the end. Can you bring it in? Can I have a big hug? Oh, that feels really good. Yeah. Feels really good. Feels, that was awesome. That was it. awesome. It was so amazing. I was a little worried at the beginning, but man, once I hit that first ramp, yeah. it was done. It was cake, baby. It was. It certainly mm -hmm. was. It was yeah. delicious it cake. Was the, so the final ramp, you were going so quickly, you almost cleared the entire thing. Holy cow. I wasn't yeah. even looking. I was just looking ahead, yeah. looking at the finish line. Definitely one of the fastest runs of the day. Awesome. Tens across the board from the judges. I mean, your real secret weapon wasn't your speed. It was your... Quite sexy dance moves at the start. That's that's it. Could man. you maybe give us a? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna vibe out down here. Get it. Back to you at the top. Get it. Get it. Okay, so the Dudicorn next. Bryce, the pilot, Little Elm in Texas is where they're from. They're inspired by uh, the captain's five-year-old son. Unicorns are too girly, so they made it the Dudicorn. Apparently, there you go. So the creativity score was 21, the performance score is 25. And we will see what they can do in terms of setting a time for everybody else to chase. Got a feeling the sword won't last very long in the mouth. One big wheel at the back, two wheels on a wide axle at the front and they've gone already. They've not just gone, it's absolutely fallen to pieces, look. Not quite sure how a minor off like that can lead to so much damage. Let's have a look at it here, into the bales. Oh, it's the two lads in there that's done it. It's very rare that we have a favourite here at the Red Bull Soapbox race, but if there is one, it's going to be this. The team have got previous experience uh, in Ohio at the Soapbox race in 2018, and the build quality is stunning. Great yeah. wheels, excellent brakes. Look at the stand they've yeah. got for it, just to wait here. They've built legs. It's not even going to be in the race. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's attention to detail and creativity that's off the scale. And actually, I think this is probably the only mosquito I've ever seen that definitely won't suck. Should, no? <laughs> So now we have Skeeter Dunn, just in the pilot. Uh, this team is actually from Florida, so they've travelled a fair way to be involved today. And if you notice, they have a separate soapbox just for their performance. And they've won this event in Ohio in the past. Performance score of 59 to be added to a creativity score of 33. This is a team that's put in a tremendous amount of work and effort to be ready for today. Can they now follow up what they've done in the build-up and on the start ramp by having a fantastic time when they get to the finish, if they get to the finish? So Justin is behind the wheel and Skeeter Dunn is on the way. 
That's the way through there. Just brush the edges. That means you don't scrub too much speed off. Here's the big kicker. No problem. 29 miles per hour. We've seen faster, but that's good. And there's a lot of air going off over the ramp, and now we look at the time. 34 points! <laughs> there's another camera gone, anyway. That's a good run. It's a good time. Everything seemed to fall into place for this team. Even allowing for the spectacular way they brought it to a halt at the end. Thank you, Team Griswold. Okay, so we're going to take a few seconds of the replay. Wolf of Main Street is the next team to see here in Dallas today. They're from McKinney in Texas. They've got a creativity score of 27, a performance mark of 48, and they're inspired by the Lamborghini Countach. Uh, the journey that it took in the film The Wolf of Wall Street. If you remember, it wasn't too good by the time he got it back. Now, they built the car parts, by the way, from a 3D printer, which is one way to do it. And uh, Sean is on his way through the car wash. I don't know what he's looking at. Focus forward, my friend, focus forward. Over the big kicker. Little wobble on... Landing there, 25 miles per hour, slower than a lot today. Here's the ramp. Losing pieces, flirting with the straw bales, trying to keep it straight and just able to do so. 46.3. His heart was in his mouth towards the finish line, but he got there in the end. He was never in complete control. It looked like it was quite difficult for the pilot to uh, steer and keep it straight. Uh, but he got it from the top down to the bottom and set a time. Now, this is a wonderful soapbox. It's got everything. It's bright, it's colourful, it's a hell of a lot of fun, and it's got a giant sombrero. Yeah. What's the build quality like, Matt? It's actually really good. There's some excellent suspension, really thin wheels. It looks like it'll be quick, and it's only made out of chicken wire and paper, so it's super lightweight. The only issue could be the sombrero, because the driver is not going to have great visibility. Yeah. However, this little thing is going to be full of chocolates and sweets. They're going to throw them to the audience and make everybody happy. That's amazing. It's a bit like bribery. <laughs> I don't know, Darren, what do you think? Could this be the Juan? C come back. Well, it could be. I grab a handful of the chocolates and sweets for me to keep me going up here as well. So Air Force One, Robert the pilot, they're a returning team from the soapbox race in Cincinnati in 2018, and they didn't get the chance to race that day because of the weather. At 29 for creativity and a whopping 58 for the performance. So that's really good. It looks the part. We're about to find out whether it is the part. Remember, it's only really made of chicken wire and paper, so it might not be the strongest, but then again, there might be a benefit of speed. And it needs to gather some momentum. Quite slow at the top of the course. You wonder whether that might cost them by the time they get to the bottom. Now it's going a lot faster through the car wash. Of course, we'll get the speed of the soapbox via the speed gun in a second or two as they come down towards the big kicker. This is where we get the idea of how fast the soapbox is going. It's only 26. It needs to be faster than that. Moving down towards the ramp and over. So far, so good. They'll get a clean run. What about the time? Might not be fast enough. 43.1 for Air Force One. Well, it went well at the top. He went OK coming down. He didn't quite get there as fast as it needed to. There we go. Oh, they, we, we don't have any eyes. He's going down blind. No wonder he couldn't see a thing when he... <laughs> he couldn't see the finish. Fantastic-looking soapbox. Maybe not quite there in terms of time. <laughs> Nacho and Ekelto. Creativity score of 20. Jorge, the pilot. Eric, the co-pilot. Cedar Hill, Texas is where they're from. They're friends from school. They're inspired by the movie Nacho Libre. And he steers this one with his hands and his feet. And it's a strange looking contraption. Oh, and it's gone already! 20 yards? Wow. Watch this from the onboard. Down the ramp, lost it straight away. No balance, no control, oh. and both of them off. Can you still make it? Are they going to make it down? We 
we've seen some amazing teams so far. It's clearly not their first rodeo. Join us after the break for more Red Bull Soapbox Racing action. Welcome back to the Red Bull Soapbox race here in Dallas. In a state with over 16 million cattle, let's see if our next team can lock horns with this track. And the team is Bomb Pop Racer. Uh, they're a group of high school seniors, one of the youngest teams here today. It's their homecoming weekend and their school is sponsoring them today. Bryce from uh, Plano, Texas is the pilot. The creativity score was 30 and the performance is 59. Can't go a lot better than that, one off for maximum. Now let's see how fast the soapbox is. It's streamlined, it looks like it's aerodynamic, it looks like it's well put together. Uh, the proof will be at the bottom when we see the time. The road banks haven't been much of a problem today at all, uh, nor has the car wash. This is where it starts to get interesting. We start to see how fast they're going. They've got the big kicker and they've got the ramp and they're really quick, this team. You can see 33, that's really good. Suspension working well. It's strong, it's fast, it's light. It's over the finish line, it's 34.2. And what a way to celebrate your homecoming weekend with a run like that. The school will be proud of them. Uh, Bryce will be proud of what he's achieved here today. Fantastic. They look like they could take the soapbox back to the top and do it all over again. The suspension worked brilliantly. Or maybe not, the wheels have gone. <laughs> Will, I love a train at a Red Bull soapbox race. They're yeah. my favourites. Although this one, it's got a little surprise. It's not going to go in the direction you think. I mean, well, this is the front, right? So, oh my goodness. There's a little surprise. Wow. Well, look, I'll tell you the surprise I like. It's a bit geeky, but these wheels they've gone for, the bigger ones, they can be quick, but they can buckle. So what this team have done is board out the axles to strengthen them. That's smart. Well, this team have got a bit of experience as well, because Ken, who is driving this, was at the Red Bull Soapbox race in Ohio in 2018. And it's one of the most heroic moments I've ever seen. Here comes Sweet Honey. There's the kicker. Oh, look at that. Over you go. Like, that's pretty impressive. That's amazing. It? And that was quite a scary jump. So hopefully yeah. it won't quite be like that today. No, definitely. But the one thing I do have to pick them up on, it's the Red Bull Soapbox race, not the Red Bell Soapbox race. <laughs> So Arthritis Express, experience counts for everything in the Red Bull Soapbox race. As the guys were saying there, they were um, participants in Cincinnati in 2018, but well, they actually finished second. So there's a real heritage to this group. Age is only a number, they tell me, with this team. Performance, 56. Creativity, 29. And now the train that looks like it's going to go down backwards is actually being driven the right way by the pilot, Ken. Over the kicker at the top. Road banks are next. And that was fine through there. Ken on his way down towards the big kicker, really enjoying his time again behind the wheel. Arthritis Express looking the part. We'll have a look at the time in a minute. Look at the speed before that. Let's have a look now. 24, it had to be faster. They're going to struggle to break 40 seconds here, I think. Over the ramp, down towards the finish line, trying to rinse every ounce of speed out of it. 41.6. It's another successful run for Arthritis Express. Ken does well once more, despite losing parts of it. But I just feel it won't be quick enough for them today. And the last team of the day are the Honky Tonkers. Creativity 23, Brandon is the pilot, Quinn's the co-pilot. They all work hard at the world's largest honky-tonk, Billy Bops, and they play hard as well. You would never read out anything like that other than in Dallas, Texas, would you? Uh, the performance score, 56. So let's see what they can do in terms of speed. Looks like a nice design. Looks like it's a, a soapbox that's going to be fast. Nice and smooth, nice and quick. Uh, the gust of wind helped them through the car wash, never touched it. Here's the big kicker. Then we'll see the speed. 
Looks good. 32, it is good. Now then, let's have a look at the clock. Over the ramp, they're in one piece, they fly over there, down towards the finish line. 34.9, there go the bales, there goes the cameraman, probably half the spectators, but they're not bothered about that. 34.9 is brilliant. The Honky Tonkers with a great run here in Dallas. Your team is kind of based around a honky tonk. Now I need to ask you, what is a honky tonk? Uh, it's, a, it's where a bunch of cowboys go, listen to country music, and drink beer. That sounds like heaven. Yeah. Uh, Great. It is, it is, it is. Are you honky tonking tonight after this? Oh, yeah, every night. Can I come honky tonk with you? Come on, man. We'll, we'll, we'll take all y'all. Let's go. We'll take everybody here. Brilliant. All right, we're going honky tonking. Not you, Darren. Not you. I am going honky tonking. I've got the 10 gallon hat. I've got the cowboy boots. I'm ready. But before we do that, we've got to find out who's won today here in Dallas. <laughs> Third place was a shoo-in for the Dallas Mavs Maniacs. In second place and celebrating homecoming weekend with an ice run of the high school seniors Team Bob Pop Racer. But swatting all opposition before them in top spot, a Team Skeeter Dunn. Not only am I basking in this insane heat, I am basking in the reflected glory Woo! of Skeeter yeah! Dunn. The winners of the Red Bull Soapbox race, Dallas-Fort Worth 2019. You came here to win, and that's exactly what you've done. How's it feel? Oh, it feels great. It feels great to finally uh, come to Dallas and do what we meant to do. Yeah, because this is your second win. So you had previous, you knew what it took to get to the very top, and you, and you did it. We did. We're ecstatic. Are you a little bit disappointed that there is basically nothing left of the ski? That was our plan all along. We knew we were going to destroy it at the bottom. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you it exploded in fabulous glory, so it was great. Well, look, you destroyed the ski, but you also destroyed the competition. Congratulations once again, guys. Our winners here in Dallas-Fort Worth, it's Skeeter done. Make it nice for yourselves. What an amazing day here at the Red Bull Soapbox race in Dallas, Texas. Speedy course, yeah. great creativity. My favorite moment was the Barbie Jeep. I loved yes. that. The yes. crash was spectacular. However, what I loved about it is the fact the crash should have happened so many times <laughs> yeah. before. It was constantly yeah. nearly over. Every feature, speed wobbles galore. Survival, that's what yeah. I love. Yeah, what was yeah. your favorite? Well, for me, I have to say it was the eventual winners, Skeeter oh. Dunn. Yeah. I love them so, I've got the only bit that is still in one piece from their <laughs> soapbox. This is the mosquito's nozzle but it had everything they were so quick yeah. amazing creativity and then to go right through to the end and just effectively disintegrate into <laughs> yeah. a thousand pieces it was absolutely brilliant and also i love that we've got a nice new look yes this is us now this is great all you need to do is get yourself a mosquito's nozzle yeah and i think you're set for life perfect brilliant sadly that is it from the red bull soapbox race here in dallas texas it's been a phenomenal day and we'll definitely see you next time take care yeah yeah yeah